understand. How to recover from antibiotics? What does that mean? If you've been treated with a course of antibiotics for a long or a short time, or if you've been using food that has antibiotics in it without you knowing, or if you've been misusing antibiotics in any way, you might start to have health problems. You might suffer from certain complaints that will make your life a little bit more difficult. Let me discuss the complaints that you might have from use of antibiotics. The most affected organs will probably be your intestines. That's because the antibiotics are going to kill the bacteria flora, which is the friendly bacteria in your intestines that is responsible for digestion and making vitamin K, which is important for you. So you will notice that you are having trouble in your gut. So you will start to have bloating, gas, irregular bowel movement. So you will have constipation and diarrhea and then bloating again and so on. You might also suffer from heartburn and feeling generally unwell. You might also start to notice bleeding from the gums or from the nose. That's also related to the lack of vitamin K. You might also suffer from yeast infections, which is a fungal infection that can be anywhere on your body, either on your skin or in your mouth or in the genital area. All that is because your bacteria flora, the friendly bacteria in the gut, has been affected by the antibiotics. So what we need to do now is correct the level of bacteria flora in your gut. How do we do that? First off, you will have to lead a healthy lifestyle. So you drink a lot of water, avoid bad foods. Bad foods are rich in sugar, carbohydrates that are unhealthy like pasta, packed foods, processed foods. These are all unhealthy foods. Instead of that, you should eat vegetables, fruits, grains, healthy fats. That's vegetable oils mainly. You can also use probiotics. These are very healthy foods that are fermented, so that helps the growth of the good bacteria in the gut. Probiotics are mainly yogurt, so yogurt is very good, kefir, yeast, and if you are suffering from any problems with kefir or yeast, I would suggest that you take it slowly. So you start with very small amounts like one spoon a day and then increase it gradually. If you go to the shop and want to buy probiotics, look for the name lactobacillus on it. That's the good bacteria for you. You can also use foods that are called prebiotics. Prebiotics are foods that help the growth of bacteria because they don't get absorbed in the body they stay for a long time in the intestines. Like leeks, garlic, onions, honey, bananas. These are all very good foods for your bacteria flora. You can also try fermented fresh vegetables. That means pickles that are pickled in a healthy way. So you can try to pickle it at home. So try for example, the ginger to pickle it at home or maybe cucumbers also are healthy but don't add too much salt so pickled vegetables are very good for your gut flora if you're a fan of soups you can try bone broth and gelatin soups you can buy bones from the butcher and what's inside the broth you can make soups with it and that's very good for your gut flora you can also add onions to it or any vegetables of your choice. It's very important to know that your gut flora affects the function of your intestines and healthy intestines affect the whole body. So it's very important to replace the gut flora that has been affected by your antibiotic abuse. 
I wish you all the best. This video contains general information about medical conditions. The content might not be suitable for everyone and should not be treated as such. Always consult your doctor before using medications. The medical information is provided without any warranties or legal obligations to those who might apply them.